Hundreds of motorists say they were tricked into clicking on a website they thought was the DMV when it was really a private company selling DMV services. Now, the DMV actually authorizes these companies to register your car, and then they can add on a bunch of fees. So why let companies profit from consumers paying their DMV bills? 7 on your side, Stephanie Sierra has the report. We've seen hundreds of complaints about one company in particular, NeedTags.com. Consumers say the site looks and functions like the DMV website, but adds on these hidden fees. Now remember, the state has a ban on junk fees. So we're looking into, is this in violation? I went to Google, typed in California DMV. Alan Peterson went to the DMV website to renew his car registration. Or so he thought. There's an extra $70, and it's like, what is this? His DMV registration fee was $231. So why was he charged $303? We feel that we're being, if you will, ripped off. It turns out he'd mistakenly clicked on a third-party website, needtags.com, which provides DMV services but tax on extra fees at checkout. When he realized his mistake, he called to cancel the order. He was shocked at the response. If you dispute this transaction, we will take legal action. It's not what I would expect from a reputable company. But what upset him more? Allen found out Need Tags was not some rogue company, but a DMV partner. The DMV authorizes need tags and other vendors to sell DMV services and tack on as much as they want in extra fees. They're trying to make money. My problem is why is our government enabling them? Why is it officially sanctioned by the government? I don't understand the government doing it to their own citizens. It ought to be clearer and much more conspicuous. You are not on the government DMV website. Consumer advocate Robert Harrell says the state should require companies like Need Tags to post prominent disclaimers. We're not the DMV website. And uh, if we're being honest with you, you're going to pay a heck of a lot more. Scores of Californians posted complaints online and to seven on your site saying Need Tags led them to believe it's the DMV. For one, Need Tags pays Google to appear at the top of search results for the DMV. Also, the NETAG's website says California DMV registration renewal in large type. It's not until checkout that consumers see the extra fees tacked onto their bills. The Department of Motor Vehicles offers the same functions for nothing. Why is there a need tag? Need Tags owner Eddie Asmarian could not be reached, but he has told us the company is committed to transparency and the website shows fees before payment. We asked DMV Director Steve Gordon about the surge of complaints about the DMV partner. Gordon did not respond directly, but in emails to Seven on Your Side, a DMV spokesperson said the Need Tags website states it is not the DMV. But where? There is some fine print there, but it's written in a font size that is considerably smaller than everything else on that page. And the, the page is designed to draw your eye to the other elements. As for hidden fees, the DMV said Need Tags does list them. But even if they knew about fees, consumers would have to scroll to the bottom of the website and click this button. It shows they will pay an extra $49 per car or $100 for commercial plates and an array of smaller charges on top of the DMV fee. I would argue that's a violation of California's upfront anti-drip pricing law. We asked the DMV, is need tags violating the state's own ban on hidden fees? The DMV told us to contact the Department of Justice. That is pretty unconscionable. And the state of California ought not be encouraging the very type of behavior that if we see it in the private sector, we would want to crack down on. The DMV tells us these partnerships began back when there were long lines and these companies were used to help alleviate the burden. But we, of course, live in a different era now. There's no need for an in-person visit. You can go straight to the website. They'll process your transaction. And most importantly, it's free. So bottom line here, the DMV is urging you not to use need tags. Go directly to their homepage. For 7 on your side, Investigates, I'm Stephanie Sierra.